So we have uh, Patrick Char Sharkey here. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm Willem Sandman from Kipersus, and it's Patrick. Uh, so Patrick, would you like to introduce yourself before we, uh, as we start the interview? What? Uh, Patrick, would you introduce yourself as we start the interview? Yes. Um, I'm Patrick Sharkey. I am um, freelance journalist uh, from Donegal in Ireland, and yeah, and then I'm during the earlier months I had role of touring international students around Port Rush and all the rest. So yes, uh, Goldman Sadman has happily invited me onto the podcast today just to talk about um the the do's and don'ts or <laughs> you know what what Port Rush is about. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with the porkers, uh, the uh, from that area, and we'll eventually go to a broader perspective that uh, the international students or uh, you know yeah. uh, students yeah. who come to a new place, uh, so they become uh, they start by, by becoming tourists and then they eventually become locals. So you yeah. would shed some light on the whole journey. Around the, okay. Yeah. So yeah, let's start it. Uh, so, uh, Patrick, uh, how does your uh when you do the student guiding, when you are you work as a global ambassador, so how does a day look like for you? Oh yeah, that that was um, yeah. So the day when I was a tour guide, um, yeah, the the university was nice enough to charter a bus from the University of Coleraine. Taking the ten minute drive out to Port um Port Rush and and then yeah we, we went to Port Rush and then so we start by you know when they took us there they took us to this lovely restaurant at Port Rush Kiwis you know a uh, good spot if anyone wants to check it out and then yeah we, we go and meet there as so we sit down and we meet the international students together our rest and um students were given two options go and walk around uh, Port Rush with me and one tour guide and there's two other tour guys who were going surfing options with them so it was a choice of them to i took there was uh t two of my colleagues were <laughs> really really set on the idea of doing the surfing so i thought yeah fair enough and they can enjoy it but i took them around um port rush so yeah after after a few weeks there we went around and um i took them from top to bottom there so we'll start with um the place oh so we go down there and we see some of the bronze age monuments down there walk down there and then when we walk down the path again we go out and we see uh there was an aquarium opened earlier in the year as well so but it does open for the spring and summer months so we get to see you know the great fish and the great fish life there and all the rest there so whatnot and you can learn about fish and then we take the walk along the path go up our more head it's most clips are in rural locations but here starts and ends of it is within port rush so you're not too far from anywhere when you're yeah. there so we walk up there around um port rush and yeah walk around it and then we go and yeah and then after walking around there we walk back around the main streets of port rush and we see like some of the things like different war memorials from both world wars in port rush and then when i went um yes yeah, so then when i went to take them yes yeah, so then we then we went down to the beach to meet the others and then if we knew you know and then yeah before we agree the bus to catch up on the main street there so we make go to like a coffee place or whatnot to finish today in port rush so yeah that's uh that's it there okay so is port rush a popular tourist destination what do you think of not from from an Irish and British perspective, it's definitely popular from that, you know, from first from there, but maybe on an international level, not so much, maybe not as much as um or as there, but yeah. It's um considering it's you know, further for it's about three hours from the main airport in Dublin and then there's two airports in Belfast, two hours as big, where it's maybe about just over an hour to it. So yeah, it depends how it goes there, but for anyone who explores the North Coast, such as the Giants Causeway, which isn't too far from it either, you know, it's obviously it's recommended to go and visit Port Rush as well there. And there's many, there's many great things 
to do that and um it's obviously very popular as a it's a, it's a seaside town especially mm-hmm. for those living in maybe the northern half of ireland um mm. it definitely is popular and um definitely a lot of parents like to take their children to an amusement place it's called uh curry's amusements uh formerly known as barry's okay okay so uh, uh what do you think that uh you know visiting a place like a bit more popular place like uh i don't know like what's a popular place in england uh let's say the stonehenge can we call stonehenge a part of england or uh i don't know like uh that the, yeah. the yeah, the Buckingham Palace is a popular place in England. Okay, so from a uh, tourist perspective, what do you say that visiting a place like Portrush versus visiting a place like Buckingham Palace? What do you think about? <laughs> it's it would be it'd be very it'd be very different um to visiting <laughs> Buckingham Palace for 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 whatever you know obviously Buckingham Palace is nice and all the rest. You have this one. One big yeah, castle, or I can get to see. Yeah, but those so, places have their calls too, right? They're those are overpopulated, and yeah, maybe expensive. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. as, it's not um yeah. Well, during the summer, it's um a lot of days it is there and all the rest, but um, it's probably best to avoid it during bank holidays. Let's say in the port. So if you go on non bank holidays, it's probably yeah. the best time to go to uh, Port Rush. So. Bank holidays for the likes of um, Port Rush would be the Easter weekend. Mm. It would also be, there is also two bank holidays in May, the first and last weekend of May there. Mm. And um, as for June, the June there, the first weekend of June is a bank holiday in the Republic, not in Northern Ireland, but a lot of people from the Republic will come up to Port Rush. Um, then um, there's also, it's also very packed in the second week of May because it's, um, one of the biggest motorsport events in both the British and Irish scene, the Northwest 200 as well. That obviously uh, gets in a lot of motorsport fans and all the rest. Uh, so unless you're a motorsport fan, probably not the best time to visit it then. And then, so yeah, and probably, yeah, and the 12th of July is also a bank holiday and the last weekend in August. So the bank holidays will always be the busiest because people are off work and school and different things there. But if you go mm-hmm. any other days, you know, like, most of July is good, you know, and you know, probably the first first half of August is quite good as well. Like so yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So uh what do you think about as a student, like uh students who come to uh universities in Ireland, international students, hmm, how much scope do they think uh you know uh what are the scopes of uh, acting as a tourist? Like do they get enough what are uh, those? They're more or less coming up. Um, you know what? Just, just, just knowing people from the area. That's that's what I say. You know, it's 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 the same applies to anywhere. Like it's not a case of you know being familiar with everywhere. But if you if you know a bunch of people from their areas and you you, you live there long enough, you're gonna get and if you interact, join different social clubs and all areas, and you know people from the area, then you're not a tourist anymore. You become you instantly just you know. Yeah, so if you, you can walk down past people and say hi hey, in the streets, and that's that's when you can stop becoming a tourist. I, I think you know that's when that's when it clicks. Like there's not a certain time frame, but that's that, if you ask me, that's when you're not when you no longer become a tourist. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but I believe that there is a certain set of pickups. Uh, when students come to areas like Ireland. Or you know, uh, countries that are part of English-speaking countries, but they mm. have a different, uh, you know, accent, or uh, mm. which makes it difficult to understand, difficult to communicate, right? So yes, what, what's your perspective on that? Yeah, because um, well, I, like I'll, I'll let the people on the north coast to say that, but look, um, my Donegal accent, I think I've never, no one from the north coast has ever uh. To so me all rest, but I understand we talk a lot faster where I come from yeah. in the Republic. We talk yeah. a lot faster than people from you know the North Coast. It's yeah. you know, it's it's a lot faster than all the rest. Of it. But yeah, look, um it's they, they can still understand you and all the rest. So yeah. um Okay, I'll bring my 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 perspective to it too. Okay. So uh, I'm learning French, but I'm learning the capital French. 
But if I go to a, an university of you know southern France or uh, northern France, the uh, pronunciation, the accent, everything goes different, and that becomes a, more difficult to stay there and to act like uh, to blend into the culture, right? So, uh, yeah. what are your tips to overcome this? the more you probably just need to listen to the accents more or something or you just need to know better because like i i try my best to understand everybody there and they're uh, to be fair the international students i was working with they've all have great great english accents the accents okay. and all the rest but they um often take uh you know I, there, there was a german student for example who told me uh they could understand the french person speaking english better yeah. than me well, that okay. being obviously the language I was brought up with, but um, it's it's funny. Like so, it's just about um finding a good or I suppose um I, see I don't know because I'm not going around like places um where because like I've I don't know I've been like abroad. It's always been like you know all, all the foreign tourists you know English speakers have been from Ireland and the UK as well. Like so, it's not even as of. My accent stands out like a sore thumb, but it's like, but you know, no, most people are willing to learn and stuff. Like we take, like for example, like we we understand, you know, that we're not gonna we we know ninety nine percent of us that people are trying their best to say stuff on their, especially when English isn't their first language. You mm -hmm. know, they definitely try their best. So no, it's it's I think for those of of our, you know people will be able to understand you and all the rest you know i don't i don't know of anyone who has struggled to understand all the rest but they do yeah so that's that's what i would say okay so uh would you keep uh portraits uh in a you know uh go to list of uh ireland like yeah if, someone if, you're, doing, visits... yeah? if you're doing a road trip around ireland or anything yeah. you know where you yeah, I, de I definitely think, you know, if, if you can fit for Russian to do your schedule, absolutely, you know, go go look at Port Rush. Abs you know, I absolutely say it there, you know, when, oh, there, like, you know, it's, you have you also Port Stewart as well, which is another seaside town, which is right beside it as well. Like, so we, we have two really good, like, seaside, um, we have multiple good, you know, so there's a great seaside presence there, like, and many others, but, you know, one of the most visited, uh, I, I, it probably is the most visited on the island of Ireland, but it's probably the Giant's Causeway. That obviously, you know, is oh, it's, it's it's such a fantastic wonder, you know, of the world and all the rest. You know, hexagon cheap rocks. You don't see that anywhere else in the world. But you know, out the road, you can visit um, Port Rush as well, like because Port Rush is just lovely. You know, it's you can make that trip there because if you go to Giant's Causeway, you're not going to be spending all day there. That's what I would say. So. <laughs> I would definitely look at I would definitely look at Port. I would definitely cons recommend Port Rush if you're about that day and all the rest. Or so yeah, if you're touring around um huh. the island of Ireland, absolutely. You know, it's it's a trip isn't complete without going to Port Rush. Sure. Okay. So uh, what are the top ten places that one should visit in Port Rush? Like you say there are few places uh, that you take your students to, you know, with the uh, visits and everything. But uh, you know the specific list for general yeah. people, like yeah, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can say. That's great. Yeah, well, I... hello. Yeah, so um, definitely, definitely, um, there's definitely a lot um to go on around there, but you know, you're you're right there, but Port Rush is smaller, so I'm not gonna sit here and recommend top ten, but within. Within an hour and a half stride, within that whole North Coast area, I'll give you um, a few ideas, right? So, 10th mm. is, and this is no particular order, right? Is the Giant's Causeway, right? You know, mm. uh, 
it's it's great it's it's just out there bordering county ashram it's it's good like there's a lot of good rock stuff and then um number nine surf lessons and stuff like you know i knew new people from double landlocked states from the you know in the united states who came over you know and they, they look they've never been to a beach in their life so i was mental and stuff so go to the beach learn to surf and stuff that's great for balance and whatnot so i would recommend surf lessons um and then yeah so then i would go with um that there so and then next would probably be um just the walk around um Ranmore head Ranmore head it's a beautiful Ranmore, walk stuff so that's, that's great Ranmore head right yeah yeah Ran, Ranmore head uh okay. you know um number 7 would be Dunluce castle it's it's a beautiful castle and stuff and they're there you know uh the east they have multiple beaches and you know Port Russian Port Stewart so uh number 6 I'm going to the East Strand beach number five i'm going with the white rocks beach and number four i'm going with the white strand beach and then uh number three i'm going with the carker reed uh rope bridge it's a you know it's a trial rope bridge stuff it was great to walk around there and all the rest and then um then number three i'm going to go with the old bushmills distillery it's where they make um a very famous irish whiskey and stuff so any of those who's interested in all the rest there it's good and all the rest and then Number two, I'm going with Curry's uh, Fun Park. It's just a, a row. If you're into getting fun and all the rest, on, 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 and then, yes, yeah, so they, that's all green, all the rest there. And then, mm. number one, um, going to go with uh, the Royal Port Rush mm. Golf Club. It's a very mm. prestigious golf club and all the rest. But, you know, it's made, it's about half, you know, it's about over 200 quid for a game of golf there. But it's, um, it, it has hosted, it's hosted both the British and Irish Opens before. So it's a very, it's, you know, it's, it's one of the top golf courses in, in, in the world. Like, so it's, it's a serious, wow. serious um, establishment, uh, the Royal okay. Port Rush Golf Club. So, yeah, I would definitely uh, put that number one. Yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, that's a great list. Okay, so my next question would be that uh, do you think that you know traveling to these places would be a great way for a, a international student to embrace the Irish culture? Yes, and I would, I would, I would say actually because Northern Ireland is so diverse and stuff. It's actually a way to embrace both the Irish and British cultures at once. Like if you went to England, London, yeah. you'll just embrace the British culture. If you go to Dublin, you'll just embrace the Irish culture. But in Port Rush, you know, you, you can embrace both. And it's 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 great, you know, it is it has all the Irish mm -hmm. cultural needs stuff there. So, you know, you can go and visit um there is Irish style bars there. There's um mm. the the landscape as well is very Irish and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like there's um a GA club in Port Stewart, um, okay. Owen Rua, and then there is um many other great great okay. cultural um activities and stuff like you know obviously in um I don't know if we still have Ben Colrain we've had the like, okay. Irish speakers society as well okay. if you want to learn Asquiliga the native language and stuff and um then there's also you know, there's different Irish traditional groups as well, and there's Irish dancing societies as well. So definitely, mm. definitely, if you want any Irish cultural experience, mm. you know, it can be found around in Port Russia and the North Coast in general. And, mm. you know, you can also, yeah, so then, and then there's also many other um, Ulster Scots pipe bands as well, which you can join and whatnot. So, yeah, and then there's... um. Yeah, so it's 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 a great experience for you know anyone who wants either Irish and if if need be if you want want British cover also that can be covered as well. Yeah, yeah, that is great. So what you know from a general perspective, what would be your advice to international students on how to adapt uh through tourism or through you know visiting different places in a new country. Visiting new places in a new country, um, I, yeah. I, I genuinely think you know get get to know get to know the locals. You know, oh, you'll you'll start to learn. You know, uh, who who's the best on the on that? Like, so get just get to know get to know the locals. That that's what I I would say. Yeah, yeah, because um, there's um some good people there and all the rest there, and yeah, just make it mm. a regular thing and all the rest there. So yeah, I would definitely um, 
say uh, once you get to know the locals and stuff you know you'll you're not going to get along with everybody but you know you're you're going to get enough thinking nice people and stuff so you're going to feel more home it because maybe if you, know, you can still be friends or you know your international students and stuff like but if you know people from each next of the woods and stuff there you can just people who can give you the right advice and all the rest and yeah and even go on maybe student nights out and go to stu- attend student events as well it was obviously important all the rest. so just just embrace it just you know you have a lot of free time stuff so, yeah okay so um my next question would be that do you think the uh, student guides like you can have uh can have the potential of becoming a travel influencer can students what the student guides like you like people who you know take students and roam around the city yeah. or roam around the university have yeah. the potential to become a travel influencer uh, I don't, don't know a travel influencer yeah uh, I don't like uh, I don't know if I, I don't know would ever call myself um that there like obviously uh, but you know as I'm travel vlogging or doing something like that there would obviously be no it would be you know um See, 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 I, I always, you know, went in as a journalist and to report on the news and stuff. But yeah, absolutely, you know, you can, you can put it on, you can explore places and all the rest, and whatnot, and sell for Russia and all the rest. So, no, absolutely, you know, you can, you, you can, you, it can become a great excuse to become, you yeah. know, someone who promotes travel online and all the rest. So yeah, if you want to promote poor Russia and whatnot, so I, absolutely, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, rule out there. It can definitely be, it can definitely be something. To post an RS like um okay. RS and then money agency companies like an RS. Yeah, no, mar- especially mar- you know, like, value, the marker value comes later. But uh, you know, uh, uplifting the portrait, yeah. portrait, uh, uplifting yeah. our Irish cruise. Yeah. So yeah. this can be the goal at yeah. first, right? So you have a head start. Wow, do you think you would be pursuing this? Like you know, uh, you are a journalist. Uh, you would be journalist, or you are journalist and enthusiast. So do don't you think that these two align? Yeah. Um. I mean, I, I like look. I, I like um the idea of like you know you have to be an extrovert. Put it that way. You have to be an extrovert. Like so, that's definitely. I'm definitely a good like. You know, I definitely like the idea of you know talking. You know, you have to have specialist subjects, which you can talk about for hours as journalists. You know, you have to like. That's just. That's just part of the industry and all that. Like, so if I, I can talk about, you know, so yeah, absolutely. Like, so if I, you know, obviously I would have went to Port Stewart no, Port, and, and Port Rush quite a lot as a child. So, and then obviously that's what, um, so I've obviously you know different parts about it there. Like, so, but then I, I I can talk about, you know, the North Coast in general to um yeah. many different um people. So I know, yeah, you know, you get got to know all right there. So people want someone who knows their stuff and whatnot. And yeah, so we didn't even know, you know, it's, it's, it's a good like circle you can walk in Port Rush. So no, absolutely, you know, if you can, if it can be a special oh. subject. So no, no, you are, you are right in what you're saying. Yes, I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great. So I think you should actually pursue it. You know, you have the thing. Like you do, <laughs> you said about the extrovert thing. Like you don't have to be the extrovert. Why don't you just put out a website yeah. uh, on your name and you just start promoting what you do? Like yeah, you, maybe. you already have the knowledge. So why don't yeah. you, like you can always try? Yeah. yeah. Why not? <laughs> we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. But I've I've six months left in my course, and you, you you just don't know what's around the corner. You know, it can be yeah. it can be in a different. You know, you just and like if you start maybe from my start from crypt person, I can give you a shout out like that. Uh, I will already give you a shout out to LinkedIn profile. But if you have that, I can also yeah. extend my support to that. That okay, if you are going to Ireland or if you are going to Portrush, this is your go to place. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's such a <laughs> <laughs> but that look I've, I've I ended up doing I won't um take too bad there and yeah but um yeah so not not too bad but sure if you ever if you ever visit Port Rush then sure I'll be I'll <laughs> I'll have no problem giving you a personalized tour. Sure, that would be in my bucket list. Sure, well, like uh, I I have an act for you know visiting low key places like uh yeah uh I'm I plan on visiting those places like Vasa Finland is a a low key place it's not quite popular. It's quite calm and yeah. quiet, and it's really beautiful. 
so I'm pretty sure that uh, another place like like that is uh, Port Fresh, and it's gonna be yeah. really beautiful out there. Yeah. yeah. So, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, that's um, yeah. So that that's that's good, all right, sir. But yeah, um, just um, wondering what can be. Don't worry, so yeah, um, you can, no, 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 not not good, all right, so, but yeah, so when will it be, you know, when will it be published, I guess, would be a question, but. Okay, so I'll try, like uh, you said it yourself, that the whole, uh, you know, uh, this pronunciation thing and everything around that it would be difficult, uh, so I'll try to extract whatever I can from this recorded video. Uh, yeah. I had noises yeah. on my part. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, extremely sorry for that because of the noise. No, no, it's uh, fine. Uh, yeah. So I'll try to extract whatever I can from this recording. Uh, wherever I get yeah. stuck, I'll. I guess I have to come up with a uh, list yeah. of things that I couldn't understand, and I'll mail you to you know help me out a bit with yeah. the list. And it's pretty simple yeah. from the there. Like uh, there were many first in publishing, and uh, yeah. I will. Uh, I'll just link it to your uh, LinkedIn profile. Yeah, yeah, good enough. Then. Right. Yeah, yeah. Th thank you. Then, right. Uh, that's uh, that was great. Um, Goldman. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Patrick. Right. See, see, see you, Goldman. Right. Bye, bye. See okay. you over there. Bye. Bye.